Speeding Construction How China Builds Skyscrapers So Fast Autonomous Construction Ever wondered why China can build so many skyscrapers and so fast? China has been a leader in construction technologies for building skyscrapers. It built more than half of the skyscrapers in the world and 70% of the skyscrapers around the world that are over 300 meters high are also built by Chinese companies. But how do its workers build sky-high towers so quickly? Let's find out. Wall Climbing Monster The machine is like a magic hat covering the building, where the rising of the hat will bring the growth of skyscrapers. The official name for the building machine is the Intelligent Micro Bump Jacking Formwork System, also dubbed as Wall Climbing Monster. It is used for vertical structure and floor slab construction and can cover five to eight structural layers at a time. When the main structure is being constructed on the upper part of the outer frame, the bottom of the outer frame can be interspersed with decoration and other multi-process operations at the same time, greatly speeds up the construction cycle. The machine uses steel platform walkways for workers to construct the building upwards and to form wide unit openings. Each opening is equipped with a retractable awning. During normal construction, the awning lifting materials can be opened, and when the rainy weather is coming, the awning can be closed at any time. This provides workers with a more comfortable and user-friendly working environment. It also has a high degree of integration. The top canopy equipment, the peripheral vertical formwork, and the cloth machine are all climbed at one time. The way of climbing up uses stepped hydraulic jacking, and depending on the working area, on a typical residential building construction, it can achieve as fast as one floor in three days. Then it pushes itself up evenly once workers finished building the several stories above to create a new and higher working platform. In terms of intelligence, the machines can feed back real-time data to the control center through displacement sensors to achieve automatic system correction and higher safety. The seemingly large and complicated equipment system only needs one manager to start in the control room with one key. With such experience and efficiency, China have branched out and started building skyscrapers for other countries. 10-story stainless steel apartment built in 28 hours. With sustainable construction and efficient building times becoming more of a priority, there's really one method that is about to boom in the world, the prefabricated modular construction. The prefabricated buildings are designed to be put together very quickly. The building modules, which look like huge containers, are first constructed in a factory. The walls and floors of each modular unit are built from a stainless steel slab that is formed of two stainless steel plates separated by hundreds of stainless steel tubes. According to the Broad Group Company, these B-Core slabs are 10 times lighter and 3 times stronger than conventional floor plates. The modules are then transported to the construction site and stacked on top of each other using cranes. Once this was done, workers started joining the modules together using bolts and also installed electricity and water connection along with furnishing. A time-lapse released by Broad Group shows the 10-story building being erected in China by a large team of workers and three cranes in 28 hours and 45 minutes. Prefabricated construction provides higher flexibility to the user as a user, can order various modules based on their needs and preferences. Also, if a certain module gets damaged, the user can easily replace it without any extra hassle. The damaged module can then easily be recycled and converted into raw materials, thus making the entire process economical. Other advantages, such as a safer work environment for construction workers, vast customizable designs, consistent quality, and better engineering scope have contributed significantly to the modular construction market. Autonomous AI Bulldozer In recent years, We've become accustomed to the idea of autonomous cars, shuttles, trucks, and even road sweepers. Now the driverless bulldozer has become a reality in China. A team from the Huazhong University of Science and Technology HUST, and manufacturer Shantou Construction Machinery has produced what is claimed to be the first driverless bulldozer of its type in the world, operating without the remote control. The Shantou Bulldozer which carries the codename DH17C2U, can work autonomously 
with no remote operation. Its ability to work unmanned comes via a high-performance computing system and a precision positioning system that uses Chinese Bidu sat navtech. It also supports communication via 5G. Shantui has conducted extensive research in intelligent and autonomous transport in recent years due to the high demand for drones. Similarly, in the US, now a Reddy Campbell, founder and CEO of Built Robotics, has also created a sensor system that is capable of transforming heavy equipment into autonomous machines. The sensors, along with its accompanying software, allow a supervisor to use an iPad to set a site perimeter and input the project plans to dictate what tasks and where the machine will complete. The bulldozer equipped with a sensor system would be able to work 24 hours and eliminate the need for human operators to perform boring, repetitive tasks and improving safety. It would also help avoid exposure to potentially dangerous operating scenarios and polluted environment. The next step is to increase the exposure of autonomous construction equipment to different operating scenarios. If successful, it could obviously have a huge impact on the construction industry, doubtlessly only the first of many machines that will come to automate work sites.